Hello everyone, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Today we're going to be working on our acacia style sarissa tree. We're styling this tree to look like an African acacia tree with the rounded top. So the tree needs some work today um, and I'll show you what my major concern is on it. This tree comes up with uh, a single trunk and then it divides into multi branches. And I want to keep these multi branches fairly close to the uh, same thickness. I don't want one taking off and getting thicker compared to the others, which is what's happening here. If we look at this branch, if we look at this branch here, it's getting thicker than the rest. So we're going to have to do some pruning on this branch, take some vigor out of this branch, which will help the others thicken up equally to that one. They'll catch up to it in thickness. We're going to start at the bottom here and get rid of some of these little shoots that have grown up. Clean that up. They'll grow again, but we'll just keep cutting them. I left uh, a few suckers growing at the base just to thicken the trunk up a little bit at the base. And it's looking pretty good now. I, uh, it's any inverse taper. It didn't really have inverse taper, but it didn't have much taper at the base. It needed just a little bit of thickening up at the base. But I'm happy with it the way it is now. So I'm going to remove these suckers. Another advantage of these suckers is it was quite plain looking, the trunk at the base. So I thought a few scars in that would create interest. If you look at the scar up here, it creates some interest on the trunk. It gives the impression of age and, you know, the tree's gone through hardships. So we're going to prune these off now. They've done their job. The one on the side here, this was intentional and we were growing it as a dead branch. So if I ever show the tree or anything, we'll remove all the foliage and it'll look like a dead branch, which is typical on acacia trees growing in the desert and that. Uh, they have a lot of dead stumps and branches coming off the tree. So we are going to prune it back. Um, I want this branch to be fairly twisty, not just a straight branch. So we'll cut it back to here and here. Move some of the branching off of it. I think I'm going to take this one back to here. There. That'll do for now. Uh, there's some shoots out the back I can remove now. So let's do that next. The shoots at the back have gotten quite thick actually. So they're probably the uh, major contributors to thickening up the base of the tree. I don't I don't want a lot of taper in this tree. If I did, I would let these grow even longer, but they've done their job. They'll leave some whoa. They'll leave some beautiful scarring at the base, which is good. Okay, that's it for pruning all the runaway branches. Here's a shot of the top of the tree. We'll just rotate around to the front here. Looking at the design of the tree, it's uh, getting close to a, you know, finished proportions, which, which is far from saying the tree is done. Um, once you build up your tree, your branch structure, and the overall size and shape of the canopy, that's kind of like the a first major accomplishment. You know, it's your goal initially. The next step is getting into the refinement stage where you're detailing the tree, improving all the branches, the structure, the ramification, the overall look of the tree. So we're kind of getting into that stage with this tree, which is a, you know, kind of a nice stage. A lot of your major cuts have already been done. 
you know, it's uh, it's kind of where you start to see the results of all your hard work. The tree, you know, doesn't change dramatically from now on. It just changes very slowly. So we're back to looking at this branch that's getting quite thick. So we've got to look at the structure of it and see what we can prune out of it to get a little less vigor in that branch. So let's have a look at that now. So here's the branch I'm talking about. I've tilted the tree up so we can kind of look in underneath the structure and you can see you know it's not bad of thickness but then it's starting to lose its taper out at this point. It's starting to you know it stays the same thickness from here out to about here and it kind of tapers a bit. So I think we can remove some of these branches it's getting quite thick and dense up top here also. So let's go in and have a look at what branches need removing. I'm going to start by removing some of the ones that are going straight up. They, uh, they can always grow in again. Uh, most branches, you know, have no problem putting growth on the top of the branch. What I don't want to do is, you know, cut a big section out of the top of the tree. So I'm thinking right here, we've got a fork and it's quite thick. The, uh, the one branch is quite thick and it doesn't go in a very nice direction. The thinner branch here is the better branch, this one going up here. So I'm going to remove that big one. And it may create a bit of a hole in the canopy. However, I think we just have to do it. It's, uh, it's got a lot of vigor too. I'm just gonna cut it off rough for now. i make a good cutting also. Up top, it does leave a bit of a hole, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Needed to be done. So I'm going to try and clean that cut up a bit. We'll come up here. That looks good. I'm also looking at the structure here. Um, got quite a vigorous branch, this one here. It could be removed. It would, uh, I'd lose a lot of foliage. I'm just trying to see if we could cut it back more at the top here, get some vigor out of it. I think we will. I think we'll just... There's a lot of branches in this area. Yeah, so this, this branch, it's dividing here, if you can see it. It's dividing into one, two, and divides into three, four, five, six. There's a lot of branches coming from one point there. So I'm going to remove some of the inner ones. Like so. Clean it up. And get rid of some of these ones that aren't going in a very nice direction. Not a flowing pattern. Get rid of that. I'm going to remove some of these vertical shoots. And the reason I'm going to do it is there's some shoots beside it that will grow and fill in that area quite nicely. Thinking about removing this branch also. It's, it's kind of interfering with the branch beside it. We have another shoot here that we could continue to grow. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Just like that. Okay, so that, I think that sorted that branch structure out quite nicely. A little cleanup work to do here. Um, I think I'm going to take off. Well, this one's a dead stump here. We'll get rid of that one. And there's a shoot on top here I don't like. There. That's better. Okay, so you're probably wondering. What has that done to the canopy? Well, let's have a look at it. So here's an overhead shot. 
So you can see this is the area we worked on right here. And it does, I mean, there's less foliage in that area, but it's still, the structure is still filled in there. So I think once we prune the rest of the foliage back, it'll look, uh, it'll look good. It'll blend in nicely with the canopy. So that's our next step is pruning more foliage. We're going to prune the foliage now. We want to prune it to our rounded canopy. Uh, left to right is going to be more pronounced the curve. Front to back will have less of a curve to it to maintain our flat looking top. Uh, in one of the other videos I pruned it a little too curved front to back so we had a lot of foliage you couldn't really see the branch structure underneath very well. So I was studying acacias and yeah they don't have much rounding front to back but they have more rounding left to right and that's because the sun starts here in the morning on this side of the tree comes up in the sky and sets over this direction so when it's uh you know evening this side of the tree is getting light and in the morning this side of the tree is getting light at noontime the top of the tree is getting light so there's never really any sunlight that comes in the front or the back of the tree. And so that's why you get that shape on the canopy. On any tropical tree that's out in the open, you'll get this type of a canopy. The bottom of the tree, a lot of it's pruned by animals. You know, elephants eating the bottom branches, giraffes. Um, but it is the natural form of the tree that, you know, they grow this canopy. Everything underneath the canopy is in shade, so it, you know, leaves will die out. So our first step is to prune the canopy to a rounded shape. And this is just going to be the first step. Um, I want to take this tree from looking like topiary, where it's just a smooth canopy, to more distinct branch pads, to make it look like a more of a mature acacia tree. So let's start by doing a hedge pruning to the top of the tree. So here we go. And usually what I, I start off with is the middle of the tree, which is my highest point, and then I prune left and right. So we'll do that. Um, sorry for my head. I think somewhere in here will be good. And we're not going to look at branches or anything we're just going to prune strictly for the shape of the tree and then we're going to go back in later and start looking at what we have left and what we can do with it so this tree has been under development for the last uh, pretty well three years to try and achieve this style and you can see it's getting there. We've got the canopy pruned down roughly to shape now. So you can kind of see the rounded form of it. The next step will be to go in and uh, create our foliage pads within that canopy. So the next operation is kind of the tricky part. Um, we want to keep a rounded shape on top, but we want to create foliage pads within that shape. So we are going to have variation in height of the foliage pads but we want to keep that overall shape in mind so we don't want to you know deviate too much I don't want to lower this foliage pad way down here I want to keep it uh, close to the profile but not exact which will break up that topiary look to the canopy so I've got to look at the structure of each branch and kind of, if you see this branch here, there's our, what we have. So we want to prune it kind of as flat as we can to the profile. I think we could go even a little bit more on that. So in the refinement stage, you'll see this effect will increase with age. 
we'll get better and better foliage pads and a little you know our variation in heights and that'll start to look better as time goes on so I hope you can kind of I'm still a little high here I hope you can kind of see that we've taken this branch and dropped down the height just a bit with some you know scissor pruning so there we have you know one branch that's lower than the rest of the canopy but it still fits the rounded profile so I've dropped it down by you know about that distance so our next branch which is the one back here we have to decide on a height for that so we've dropped this one down about this much maybe we want to go a little less on the back one so we'll just prune a little less on it so we still get some variation yeah so that's dropped that branch down a bit I'll show you that from the side view so here's the side view looking at the branch so here's our one we pruned lower and here's the one we pruned a little higher and then we have our highest ones in the middle here so some subtle variation I'll rotate the tree back to the front there we are and continue working on the other branches these foliage pads we also want to create some separation so we don't want this foliage pad merging with the one up here we want a little bit of a gap in there something like you'd see on some of the Japanese junipers they create foliage pads and there's a gap between the next foliage pad not a big one but just enough to break it up so it doesn't look like topiary I think we have a branch out front here that is kind of blocking our view and it, it's not very it's not a good branch it's kind of getting out of the profile of the tree I think we could remove that entirely so I, I am I'm gonna come right back to the base and remove that branch there we go yeah that looks much better I've got kind of a hanging branch here it I can push it up into the canopy like that which I think I'll do and we'll just let it strengthen up so anyway I, I'm going to continue with this style if you can see our our foliage pads and try and you know develop each of these major trunks to have its own foliage pad at a different height at a slightly different height so we're getting down to you know the final shape of the top hope you can see the separated foliage pads they're starting to look good it gives the tree a more mature look to it on our last video of this tree I was growing wheat grass to look like you know grassy plains underneath the tree it didn't work very well that experiment um, it got too thick a mat of roots in the pot so I had to pull it all out which wasn't too hard but uh, yeah I've decided to either grow the grass in a separate pot and place it around the tree later on or just use moss and let the moss die and then plant the dead moss around the tree to get that dead grass look or the you know the fall look to the grass where it's all brown and the tree's still green so that's kind of the look I'm after eventually for our club show this year so we're pretty well done all the work on the tree I'm just gonna clean it up and then we'll take a look at all the foliage pads we're developing there's a shot of our tree all cleaned up here's a shot of the foliage pads you can kind of see them you know the individual pads forming now That's all the work we'll be doing on our Sarissa tree that's styled to look like an acacia tree growing in Africa. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, do something green today, buy some food from your local farmer's market. Thanks for watching.
and we'll see you on the next video.